This is Channel 7 News Daybreak. Welcome back into Channel 7 Daybreak. Today is Wellness Wednesday, and we're joined by Dr. David Gerson. He's joining us this morning to talk about something important, calcium, how important it is to the body, and also how in combination with other things, it can really benefit you. So, Dr. Gerson, first of all, thanks for joining us. Tell us about why you want to talk about calcium and really why we're talking about a couple different things today in one. Sure, sure. So calcium, I mean, when you were growing up, you know, your grandma, your mom tells you, you know, make sure you drink your milk because you need that calcium. We cannot produce calcium on our own. It has to be dietary. And so calcium is critical for the health of our bones, but it's also critical for all the biological processes of our body, our metabolism. And so it's it's very important. Now, some people you can actually overdose on it. So we want to make sure people are getting, you know, adequate amounts, but not too much. And so in general, we talk about for most folks, as long as they're getting, you know, between 1800 and 2000 milligrams a day, that should be plenty. Um, you can get it through a vitamin form, but you can also get it through food, you know, through dairy, cheese, dark green, leafy vegetables. My favorite, and everyone here just rolls their eyes, are sardines. <laughs> and that's because that basically the bones, those soft bones in the sardines, you eat those. And there's plenty of good calcium in there. So those are great, great uh, sources of, of calcium. I have not heard the sardine suggestion before. Um, I might pass on that, but I'll, I'll give them all to you. Oh, they're delicious. They're delicious. <laughs> I know also you want to talk touch on vitamin D today. Can you explain how these two kind of work hand in hand and the benefits, sure. you know, whenever so, you find them? Absolutely. So you need, um, you need vitamin D to absorb calcium and you need calcium to work with vitamin D. They work very closely. In fact, that's why most of the supplements out there are co combined calcium and vitamin D. Vitamin D is the hot thing in the news for the last year because of COVID. We have some really good research that Vitamin D deficiencies, which is actually a, a pretty common thing in our country, um, leads to bigger problems with COVID. But we've been recommending vitamin D for years because it's just good for your immune system. Vitamin D is a hormone. We all need it and we don't get enough of it. To give you an idea, the, the previous recommended daily allowance or level for vitamin D was a number 17. That's just a, a, just a random number, all right, 17. Today, we know you have to be at 50. So it's a exponential height of where we want you to be. And we find that people who are vitamin D deficient are more at risk for immune issues, COVID being the big thing in the news today. And so being in the sun is important. We want you to get out there. We want you to get some sun exposure with sunblock, but sun exposure is still not enough. You need to take uh, vitamin D supplements. And so what I recommend to most folks is to take over-the-counter 2,000 units of vitamin D3, but also ask your doctor to check your vitamin D levels. These are really important, not just because of COVID, but because of your immune system in general. All right, Doc, thanks for joining us and explaining how these things work and how they can help us out on this Wellness Wednesday. If you'd like to talk with Dr. Gerson or any of the great folks over at Baptist Health, you can do so by contacting them at the information on your screen. Doc, we'll talk with you next time. Thank you again for your time. Appreciate Thank you. you. Right, Get outdoors. Get out there. I'm going out right now.